Okay, so we are going to start on our backs on the mat. So if you want to bring your feet together, your knees out wide, you can come into Supta Baddha Konasana. So that's with your hips <coughs> open and your arms resting next to your body. If you want, if that's too much on your hips, you can always bring your knees together feet uh, mat width distance on the mat and you can have that internal rotation of your hips instead just go with what suits your body <clears throat> so make sure your shoulder blades are untucked your neck is nice and long and just take a big breath into the belly sigh it out let it go And then continue this breath, breathing in and out through your nose. Follow that breath as it travels all the way to your belly. Maybe pause at the top of your inhale. And then slowly exhale, feeling that breath leave the body. Slowly, mindfully, bringing your awareness to your maps, your practice, how you feel in your body today. So if you notice any areas of tension or tightness, just breathe deeply to those spaces and then with every exhale, try to release that tension. Allow your hips or your shoulders to melt that little bit more into the mat. Soften through the belly. Soften through the chest. If you're holding tension in that space between your eyebrows, just let your head be heavy. Release any tension there. Allow the tongue to fall away from the roof of the mouth. Cheeks are soft. And then in this space, place of stillness, if you want to set an intention for your practice this morning, you can do so now. So how would you like to go about your practice? How would you want to feel as you move through your flow? How do you want to feel at the end of this practice? Set that intention now, beginning your statement with I am. Or perhaps you'd like to dedicate your practice to someone, something this morning. Just take these next few rounds of breath to focus on that person, that place, that thing that you are dedicating this hour to. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands behind your thighs if the knees are wide and just slowly start to draw your knees together. Walk your feet so they're in line with your hips. Imagine that you're coming into a bridge pose. So back is still flat on the mat. Heels are drawing up towards your glutes. Maybe you can tickle your ankles with your fingers. As you inhale, we're just gonna reach the arms up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, reach them behind your head, stretch the fingertips up to the top of the mat. See if you can keep your biceps drawing in towards your ears. So if you feel like your elbows need to bend, it might just be a little bit tight in the shoulders. So just notice where you feel a bit of tightness here. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. As you exhale, lower them back down towards the hips. And then we'll do that a few more times. So inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. 
Keep the shoulder blades down as you exhale, draw the hands above the head. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, down towards your hips. You do that one more time, just like this. Inhale. Exhale, draw your belly down to your spine if you feel like your hips want to lift. Engage the core. Inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, lower the hands down. Stay with this. Or if you want to add the little bridge lifting the hips, then come with me here. So inhale, sweep the hands up and lift the hips towards the ceiling. As you exhale, lower the hands behind your head. Keep pressing into the feet and lift those hips a little bit more. As you inhale, draw the hands back to center above the shoulders. As you exhale, lower the hands and hips towards the earth. We'll do that again. Inhale, sweep the hands up, press through the feet, and lift the hips. As you exhale, lower the hands behind your head, press into the feet, squeeze the glutes gently just to lift those hips a bit higher. As you inhale, hands above the shoulders, exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, moving with your breath, linking movement and breath is vinyasa yoga. Exhale, Lower the hands behind you. One more. Inhale. Press through the feet. Lift the hips a bit higher. Exhale. Lower the hips and hands towards the earth. And then when you're ready, drawing your knees to your chest, just give yourself a little hug here. Release out through your lower back. And just rock and roll gently side to side. And then bringing your hands behind your thighs. We're going to rock and roll gently up to a seated not seated, we're coming into Navasana boat pose, so it's a kind of seated position. So we're rocking onto that meaty part of our bum. See if you can pause here by drawing the belly in. Hands may still draw behind your knees, gently drawing the knees up. If you want, you can extend the arms out in front of you, but keep your shoulders drawing back and down away from the ears. Send the chest forward, squeeze that belly in. If you want to extend your legs, if you're there already, then extend the legs out long. Take one more breath here. Engage in the core. As you exhale, cross the ankles and just fold forward in a seated position. Release through the belly. And then finding your Sukhasana, your easy seat. Just going to sit tall as you inhale. Place the hands onto your knees. Just gently drop the shoulders away from the ears as you exhale. Press the sit bones into the mat, lengthen through the spine. As you inhale, sweep the hands up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, take your left hand over your right knee, right hand goes behind your sit bones. Press gently into the mat, sit tall as you inhale. As you exhale, optional, take your gaze back over that right shoulder for a gentle twist. Draw that belly in. Protect the lower back, lengthen through the spine, take an inhale. As you exhale, come back to center. Sweep the hands up towards the sky, inhale. As you exhale, take your right hand over your left knee, left hand behind your sit bone, sit nice and tall, lengthen through the spine, inhale. As you exhale, take your gaze over your back shoulder. If it's there for you, if it's too much in the neck, just keep your gaze forward. Take another breath here. And then exhale, come back to center. We're just going to walk those hands forward again for a fold from the hips. So I can't reach my hands as far forward, but my cap on it in the way. But we're going to send those hips really far back as you lower your chest forward, lengthen through the spine. So see if you can get space down the back of the body, all the way from the hips up through the spine, across the shoulders up to the crown of the head. Keep sending those sit bones down to the mat and press gently into your hands. As you exhale, maybe you fold a little bit deeper. And then slowly start to walk your hands back to your knees as you inhale. Take your hands behind you, fingertips pointing forward. Press into the earth, squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. Maybe you lift your hips off the mat for a gentle hip opener. And then stretch across the chest here, take an inhale. As you exhale, sit those hips back down. And then we're going to roll over onto our knees, just for a breath here. We're going to walk 
We need to come back a bit. Come into our tabletop position and just take a few rounds of cat and cow. As we inhale, drop the belly, send the chest forward, drop the shoulders down away from the ears. As you exhale, press into the hands, arch that space between your shoulder blades. Really press into the tops of the feet and draw belly towards your spine. Do that two more times with your breath. Inhale, rolling forward and exhaling, pressing back. So warming up the spine, connecting with your breath. And then come back to your neutral tabletop. Walk your hands slightly further forward. We're going to tuck the toes behind you and just slowly walk your feet up to come to a squat at the top of your mat. So your heels can be lifted. You're on the balls of your feet and your fingertips can place on the mat. If you want a bit of a balance challenge, then bring your hands to heart center. Lift the belly, lift the chest and find something to Place your focus on your drishti. So we're just going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Check in again with your breath. What was that intention you set? Or who did you dedicate your practice to? Just remind yourself of that here for another inhale. As you exhale, everyone place your hands on the mat if they're not there already. Split the knees wide and draw the heels together. So you're opening through your hips and start to walk your hands forward, sending your hips back. So we're lengthening through the spine, but opening through your hips as well. So really squeeze those knees behind you, press your heels together and balance on those fingertips as you reach those hands a little bit further forward. Take another breath here. And stay, if you want to take the balance, take your hands behind your heels Draw your heels towards your chest as you fold a little bit deeper, maybe using your elbows to the inside edges of your knees, squeezing yourself down and opening through those hips, those inner thighs. Take another breath here. And exhale, place the hands onto the mat. We're going to take the feet out wide, toes pointing to 10 and to a clock, sitting into our Malasana Yogi squat. So here, if you want to place a block, if you've got a block or a book handy or something cushion, you can always sit onto a block to lift your, help lift your hips up and take pressure out of your, your hips and your thighs. If your heels are lifted, just lift your bum a little bit higher so your heels can stay on the mat. And you're working more into those outer hips here, those thighs, and more of a strengthening pose, actually, if you're lifting your hips. Otherwise, elbows to the inside edges of your knees. Send your chest forward towards your thumbs. Open through that heart space. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, maybe you start to just shimmy side to side on your mat. Just feeling into those hips, using your breath to bring some movement to this little squat. Maybe you notice one side a little bit tighter than the other. And then we find stillness, take an inhale. As you exhale, place your hands down, keep your right foot where it is and step your left foot to the back of the mat. You can drop your knee down here as well, if you wish. So if you're, that's a little bit too much on your knee, you can always fold your mat and then just have a bit more cushioning underneath your left knee. Option is to keep that knee lifted, if you wish, for a stronger stretch on that left hip flexor. Otherwise, your toes on the right side are still pointing out to 10, what are we? Two o'clock, I have to look at my clock then. <laughs> Lengthen through the spine, lift up through your pelvic floor and squeeze your inner thighs together. So that will switch on your core here. Stay for the breath in. As you exhale, reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Find your little twist here. So keep lifting through the belly, lengthen through the spine. Option to stay here, if you want to come onto the knife edge of that right foot, you can gently use your right hand to press into that right knee and open up through the chest a little bit more. If not, just stay with that right hand lifted, knee to the center or knee to a diagonal. Take one more breath here. 
and then exhale, come back to centre, both hands onto the mat. Just walk those right toes now so they're pointing forward, not out. And again, your back knee can be lifted or down, your choice. We're going to press into that left hand again, reach the right hand up, take an inhale, open that chest. As you exhale, thread that left right arm under the left and squeeze the belly, lift up, stretch through that right shoulder, inhale, come back up, reach up. Exhale, thread the needle under, lift the belly, reach that right hand as far as it will go to this other side. Inhale, last one. As you exhale, thread that arm under, reach, reach, reach. And then come back to center as you inhale, place that right hand to the inside edge of your right foot. Spin your left foot down, keep the right knee bent. We're gonna lift that left arm up to the ceiling for extended side angle. Now this might be a quite deep pose for the very beginning of your class. So if you haven't got that right hand down, you can always bring your right elbow to your knee. We're thinking about opening through that right hip. So squeeze that inner thigh forward and back. Stay here for the inhale. As you exhale, take a big circle with that left arm back and then forward. So two more. Inhale. As you exhale, sweep it back. And then forward, last one, inhale. As you exhale, place that left hand down onto the mat. Both hands are inside of that right foot. Lift the belly, press into the hands, and step back to your plank pose. Press the heels to the back of the mat as you draw the crown of your head forward. Lift your belly, press that space behind your knees, high up to the sky. Take one more breath. As you exhale, press into the hands, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And then just pedal through your feet here. Release out through the backs of the legs. Find your breath. And then find stillness. So pressing firmly into both hands. Spread those fingertips wide. Draw those shoulders away from the ears and then spread through the shoulder blades by rolling your triceps under, lift your belly, send your hips up and back. So imagine that crease of your bum is trying to be the highest point of your pose here. You can always bend your knees if you wish. Take two more breaths. Last inhale. And an exhale. Right leg will lift up, three-legged dog. Square those hips, lead with the heel. As you exhale, bend that right knee and open your hips up. So shoulders stay square. Press firmly through both hands. Right knee lifts up to the ceiling as you ground that left heel into the mat. Maybe you take a few circles with that knee, right knee, to see if you can open up that hip a little bit more. Take one more breath here. Look forward as you exhale, step your right foot back to the outside edge of your right hand. And then lift the belly, press through the hand, step your left foot up to join it. Malasana yogi squat. Hands at heart center. And take a big breath in here. As you exhale, sigh out. Place your hands down onto the mat. Lift your hips slightly as you step your right foot to the back. Left toes stay pointed out to 10 o'clock. You can always drop that back knee if you wish. And fold your mat if you need. So take an inhale here, lift the belly, lengthen through the spine. So pelvic floor is lifted to engage that core. Inner thighs are drawing together, but our feet, our feet are pressing firmly into the mat. They don't go anywhere. We just get that lifted motion. Take one more breath. As you exhale, lift that left hand up towards the ceiling. Find your twist. Belly stays lifted, spine is long. And then option to stay here or if you want to come onto the knife edge of that left foot, open up your left knee. Maybe bring your left hand to the inside edge and just gently press onto that knee as you keep opening through your chest. 
take one more breath here. And then exhale, come back to centre. Walk those left toes in so they're pointing forward now. Again, an option to keep that back knee dropped or lifted. Right hand down, left hand up. Open up through your twist again. Inhale. As you exhale, thread that left arm under the right. Reach for the other side of your room or your garden. <laughs> Inhale. Reach that left hand up. Open your chest as you exhale. Thread that left arm under the right. Reach, reach, reach. Keep squeezing that left knee into centre. Inhale, last one. As you exhale, thread that arm under. And then come back to centre. Drop that left hand down. Frame. Okay. Keep your both hands down onto the mat. Lift your belly. Press through that right heel as you step your left foot back to join it. Plank pose. Take a breath here. Lift your belly, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here again. Press out through both hands evenly. Bend your knees if you need. Send your belly towards your thighs. Tailbone lifts. Take another inhale. And an exhale. Left leg lifts on an inhale, lead with that heel, keep the hips square. Before you bend that left knee and then open up, stack the left hip on top of right. Squeeze that right hip under, keep shoulders square on the mat. Option to take little circles with that left knee to open up the hip a bit more here. Take one more breath. Look forward, step your left foot to the outside edge of your left hand. Lift the belly, press into the hands and step your right foot up to meet it. Malasana squat here, just for an inhale, hands to heart centre. As you exhale, place the hands down, lift the hips, keep the feet wide but come into a forward fold. Just walk back slightly so I don't knock my head. And then option here, you can always grab opposite elbow if you want to just ragdoll, shake out any tension that you're holding in your neck, your shoulders, your spine. And just breathe here as you check where the weight is in your feet. Have you sent it to your heels? If so, do you just draw it forward ever so slightly into the balls of your feet and feel that stretch deep and down the backs of the legs. Taking one more breath. If your hands are on your elbows, just place them down onto the mat and start to walk your feet into centre, big toes to touch, slight gap between the heels. Now send the weight to your heels, bend your knees and lift the belly as you roll one vertebrae at a time all the way up to standing. Chin off your chest, last thing to come up. Take your shoulders up and then back behind you. Open out through your chest. Spread your fingers down to the mat. Tadasana mountain pose. So really strong in this mountain pose. Press firmly through the feet. Lift the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Sweep those hands towards the sky as you inhale. As you exhale, hands through heart centre, lift the belly, fold all the way down. Halfway lift as you inhale. As you exhale, fold. And then step your left foot to the back of your mat. We forgot our extended side angle on this side. Well, I forgot, so I'm going to make you do it. Was it this side or the other side? It was the other side, wasn't it? We're going to take our right foot back. <laughs> And we're going to ground through that right foot and then take your left hand to the inside edge of your left foot. Reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale. If you want to bring your elbow onto your left knee, you can. Otherwise, keep that hand down on the mat. Take an inhale here. And we're going to take three big circles with this right hand. So exhale, sweep it behind you. Inhale, draws you up. Exhale, sweep it behind. Inhale, reach up. And then as you exhale, bring that hand back down onto the mat. 
and then look forward, lift the belly as you exhale, step forward, forward fold. And then we can carry on with our flow. Got to be even in yoga. Halfway lift as you inhale, squeeze those shoulder blades together. As you exhale, fold down. Step your right foot to the back of the mat, drop your back knee down, untuck the back toes, lift the hands towards the sky, inhale, low lunge. As you exhale, cactus open the arms, maybe a little baby back bend here as you lift your chest. Keep drawing in the belly to protect the lower back, inhale, sweep the hands back up. Exhale, place them down either side of that front foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the knees, step back downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, step your right foot in between your hands. Drop the back knee down, untuck the toes, sweep the hands to the sky, take an inhale. As you exhale, cactus open the arms. Again, maybe you take a baby back bend here. Lift the belly, protect the back. Inhale, sweep the hands up. As you exhale, hands down. Tuck the back toes. This time, step back to plank. Press into the earth, either knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga. Squeeze the elbows into your side body as you lower. Upward or cobra as you inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Take two breaths here. Breathe deeply, inhale. This time, sigh out, exhale. Look forward, step your right foot in between your hands, top of the mat. Lift the belly, press into the sole of that right foot as you step your left foot up to join, forward fold. Rise with a flat back, inhale, sweep those hands wide. Reach up, Audra Hastasana, exhale. Hands through heart centre, Samastitihi. Inhale, Audva Hastasana. Exhale, fold with a flat back, Uttamnasana. Halfway lift as you inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot to the back, drop the knee, untuck the back toes, sweep the hands to the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, hands to heart center, lift the belly and spin to face the left side. Take a breath here, lengthen through the spine as you exhale, hook your right elbow over your left knee. Keep lengthening, keep lifting the belly. Take a breath here. As you exhale, frame that front foot, lift the back toes, lift the knee, step back downward facing dog, lift the hip. Look forward, set your right foot in between your hands, top of the mat. Drop the back knee down, sweep the hands to the sky, inhale. This time, hands to heart centre as you exhale. Spin to face the right side, lengthen here, inhale, lift the chest towards your thumbs. As you exhale, keep that length and the lift in the belly as you hook your left elbow over your right knee. Gaze can go up over that top shoulder if you wish. Take a breath here. And an exhale, frame your front foot, tuck the back toes, step back, plank, and then chaturanga. Your choice, knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga. Upward or cobra, squeeze those shoulders down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward, take your left foot to the top of the mat. Lengthen as you inhale, lift the pelvic floor, press through that left foot as you draw your right foot up to meet it, forward fold. Rise up with a flat back, inhale. Samasthiti, exhale. Just take your breath here, slow it down, close the eyes if you wish. And just notice how you feel <clears throat> in your body, in your mind. Remember that intention. Take another breath in. Sigh out. 
And then we're going to bring our hands to our hips. Step your left foot to the back of your mat, setting up for warrior two. So left foot is parallel with the back edge. Your right knee is bent and over your front knee. So here we're externally rotating this right hip as you draw your left thigh in and then back behind you. Reach your arms out long. Take your gaze over your right fingertips. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears if they've crept up. Take another inhale here. Can you go a little bit deeper as you exhale? Sink more into that right knee. But don't lose the strength of that back leg. Really press into the knife edge of that back foot. Belly is lifted. Take another inhale. And an exhale. Can you go that little bit deeper? Hands to heart centre. Straighten through that right leg. Spin your left toes to the back of the mat, slight in a 45 degree angle. We're going to bend that left knee and sink down into Skandasana. So your right leg is long, toes are flexing up towards the ceiling. Left knee is bent. So we're going to be coming into this Skandasana a few, a few times in this flow, always coming back to our warrior two. So take an inhale and an exhale. You can always have your hands on the mat if you wish. And then as you inhale, bend your right knee, open up the arms once again, windmill them open into your warrior two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, elbow to knee again on the right side or right hand down onto the mat, extended side angle. Keep drawing that right hip under, squeezing that right thigh, inner thigh, forward and back to open up that hip. So option to take your left hand behind your lower back if you wish. Take one and an exhale. We're going to come back as you inhale. Hands to heart centre, exhale, skandasana, release that right leg. So send your hips back, good, left knee bent. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Open up the abs, take an exhale. We're going to sweep that left arm under and lift the left heel as we spin the hips to face the front. So coming into our high lunge, just for an inhale. We're going to take the weight into that right foot as you exhale, draw your left knee up to your chest in staff pose. Let me step back a little bit. So left foot is flexed, we're balancing on that right foot. Stay long through the spine, take an inhale here. As you exhale, tree pose. You can grab the heel or the ankle on the left side if you want to bring that foot up to your inner thigh on the right side. You can always take the sole of that foot to the calf on the right side. What you want to try and do is open out through that hip. So squeeze that left knee behind you as you press the sole of that foot and inner thigh or calf together. Find your drishti, your point of focus. We're gonna stay here for two more breaths. Keep squeezing that left knee back. One more, inhale. And exhale, come back to centre. Left knee lifts up to your chest once again, still balancing on that right foot. Eagle pose, exhale, left knee over the right, or left thigh over the right. And you can either stay with the toes, dropping down to the mat just next to that right foot, or take that foot behind your right calf, and sit down into a Utkatasana pose, so chair pose here. So hands can stay at heart centre if you want to take the arm bind as well. We're going to take the right elbow over the left and then cross the arms, cross the forearms, and bring the palms together. If that's too much on your shoulders, bring opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Lift the elbows, take an inhale, drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Take one more breath, really squeeze everything into the centre. 
Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to open up into our half moon. This is a really nice release for this pose. So slowly, you're going to float your left leg back and drop your right hand to the floor or block as you reach your left hand up to the ceiling. Don't worry if you fall out a few times, it's absolutely fine. Just release here, opening out through the whole of the body after that compression in Eagle Pose. Take an inhale. Warrior two, as you exhale, slowly step that left foot back. Bend your right knee, gaze over the right fingertips. Hands to heart center, scan that center to the back. Exhale, send those hips down. Hands to the mat, we're gonna to walk to the center, turn the toes in slightly, heels out, we're in our wide-legged forward fold. So here you can stay with your hands underneath the shoulders with a flat back, if that's enough on your legs. If you want to fold forward a little bit more, start to walk your hands further back, so the heels of your hands are in line with the heels of your feet. Really press into the big toe knuckle. Roll your inner thighs into the center and then back behind you. So this is that internal rotation now of our hips. Stay here for three more breaths. Can you take any tension out of the neck and the shoulders? Can you breathe a little bit more into those spaces where you're feeling tension, where you're feeling tightness? Use your breath. One more inhale. And exhale, walk the hands back to center. Turn your heels in, toes are out, 10 and 2 o'clock. Sit your bum down, bend the knees, come into goddess, hands at heart center. Opening out those hips now. So really squeezing your hips forward, squeezing your glutes and opening up through those knees. So press your knees back. Take an inhale, sit a little bit deeper as you exhale. And then stand up tall as you inhale, spin your toes, both of them now to face the front of the mat. And then bend your right knee, step your left foot up to join it. And then shake out through the hips here. You can join me in a vinyasa or if you want to stay in Samasthiti here, just close your eyes gently and find your breath. Otherwise, inhale. Udva Hastasana, exhale Uttanasana, halfway inhale, Chaturanga, exhale, upward or cobra, and downward facing dog, take one breath here, exhale, and then look forward, lift the heels, bend the knees, Step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold as you exhale. Udva Hastasana, inhale. And we'll meet in Samasthiti here as you exhale. We're going to do that same sequence on the other side. So hands to your hips. We're going to take the right foot back now into our warrior two. And we're going to be facing behind you. So left knee bends, right leg is strong. We're gonna take the hands out long, arms out long. Gaze over your left fingertips. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Squeeze that left inner thigh, forward and back. Three more breaths. Find your drishti over those left fingertips. Soft gaze, soft shoulders, strong leg. Can you sink a little bit deeper as you exhale? Last breath here. Exhale. Hands to your heart, inhale. Skandasana to the back, so bending your right knee now as you exhale. Left toes come up to the ceiling. Hands can be at your heart or onto the mat. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms, circle them open, warrior two. Elbow to knee or extended side angle fully. Take your left hand down to the mat, 
reach that right hand up to the ceiling, squeeze that left hip under and draw your right shoulder back. Option to stay here or take the bind, right arm behind your back, tickling the inner thigh on the left side. Take an inhale and an exhale. Come back to warrior two as you inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center, skandasana to the back, release through that left leg, which you feel really nice. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Stay for the exhale. Sweep that right arm under, high lunge facing the front of your mat. Back heel is lifted. Stay for the inhale as you exhale, weight into that left foot, Star pose, hands to heart center, right knee lifts towards your chest. So before you come into tree, just check if you've got the weight spread evenly in that left foot. Stand tall, take an inhale. As you exhale, tree pose on the right side. So heel or sole of the foot to the thigh or calf. Squeeze the two together as you press that right knee back behind you. Send your hips forward. And then an option here if you want to take your arms up this time, maybe grow your tree. If you're feeling super balanced, you can take your gaze up to the ceiling or the sky. Check those shoulders don't creep up to your ears. Take one more breath here. Exhale, hands back to heart center if they're lifted, knee to your chest. We're going to take that right knee over your left for eagle pose, squeeze the thighs together, wrap that foot behind your left calf, if it's there for you, or just tap the toes down. And then again, option, you're gonna take left elbow over your right, hands together or hands at your shoulders. Squeeze the elbows up, lift them, as you drop the shoulders down away from the ears, sit the bum back, squeeze, 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 everything into that center line, take one more breath. As you exhale, we're going to release in half moon. So keep balancing on that left leg as you slowly go into your half moon, dropping that left hand down, right hand lifts, right foot floats up behind you. Straight legs, take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly set that right foot back, warrior two. And then hands to heart center, inhale. Exhale, Skandasana. Walk the hands down to the center of your mat. Turn your toes in slightly, heels out. We're in our wide-legged forward fold again. So you can always walk your hands back. If you want to take a different version on the arm, you can always take your palms behind your back, squeeze them together, lengthen through the arms and draw the arms over your head if you want more of a shoulder stretch. Totally up to you here how you take this pose. You can always still have your hands under the shoulders with a flat back. You've got really tight legs. Press through the big toe knuckle. See if you can internally rotate those inner thighs and send them back behind you to open up through the backs of the legs, through the hips. Take one more breath here. And exhale, walk those hands back underneath the shoulders, flat back. Turn the heels in, toes out, sit the bum down and bring your hands to heart center. We're now gonna squat. So knees are drawing out behind you. Inner thighs now roll in and back, just like we do in warrior poses. Rolling those inner thighs in and back. We're going to stay here for an inhale. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper. Squeeze those knees out behind you. And then inhale, hand, lengthen through the legs and turn yourself to face the front of your mat. Bend that left knee slightly, step up to the top. Samasutiki. And just shake out the hips here. We're going to do another vinyasa or stay at Samasutiki if that suits. Inhale, sweep your hands to the ceiling. Udvahastasana, exhale, forward fold. 
Halfway lift as you inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up, Udo Cobra. Downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Sigh out. Lift the heels, look forward, bend the knees, step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Forward Vahastasana, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. You'll meet everyone who stayed in Samas TV. Inhale, sweep the hands to the sky. As you exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold and step back to your plank pose. So press into the earth. Press that space between the shoulders up to the ceiling. Heels draw back, crown of the head forward when you're here at the beginning of class. Tuck your tailbone so your belly is lifted. We're here for an inhale, shift the weight forward. As you exhale, slowly lowering all the way down onto your belly. You can always drop your knees halfway. Three, two, and one. Allow your belly to be heavy on the mat. Bring your hands either side of your hips and just take your left ear onto the mat, gaze over towards the right side. And just notice your heartbeat. Maybe it's going pretty fast. It might just be because I'm talking and flowing. <laughs> and then wiggle your hips side to side just to release any tension. Bringing your chin back to the center, walk your hands over underneath the shoulders. Squeeze the elbows down towards your hips. Draw your shoulder blades together and shoulders down away from the ears. So you might notice this already lifts your chest slightly. Press into the tops of the feet, squeeze the inner thighs together, press the pubic bone into the mat, lift the belly. You might come up a little bit higher. This is a really active pose. Everything is engaged. If you want to come a little bit higher, lift the chest, crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Maybe you float your hands off the mat. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, release. Bring your right ear down to the mat. Walk your hands next to your body and just shimmy out the hips side to side. Release here. Chin back to the center of your mat. You can do exactly the same pose again, coming into Cobra. Well, this time, if you want to interlace your hands behind your lower back, squeeze the palms together and send the knuckles down towards your heel. This will lift your chest. Keep pressing through the tops of the feet. Lift your belly, squeeze the inner thighs together. Stay here for another inhale. Can you lift a little bit higher? And exhale, release all the way down, left ear to the mat, release the hands and shimmy the hips side to side. And then we're going to bring the gaze now over towards the left side and you're going to cactus your right arm on the mat so your elbow is in line with your right shoulder. So fingers are spread nice and wide. So you've basically got a 90 degree angle with that right arm like this. Then you're going to bring your left hand in front of your gaze, bend your left knee and press into the mat as you roll onto your right side. And you should feel this stretch across your right shoulder. If you need a little bit more, just check that your elbow is in line with your shoulder first. Otherwise you can extend that right arm out long, and maybe you roll all the way onto your back if you're super flexy, you get a really deep shoulder stretch. Otherwise, just tap that left foot to the mat behind you. Go onto a block if you need a little bit more height. We'll stay here for three more breaths. And 
and then take one more inhale. As you exhale, roll back onto your belly and then take your gaze over towards the right side. So left ear on the mat. And then same on the other side, we're gonna cactus the left arm. So 90 degrees with that arm, elbow in line with your shoulder. Bring your right hand in front of your gaze, bend your right knee and send your weight onto that left hip. Drop that right foot behind you. If you need a block underneath that foot, you can always do so. And just breathe here. With every exhale, try and release more tightness, more tension. Last breath here. And then roll all the way back onto your belly. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the belly, and either onto your knees or into a plank pose if you're feeling strong. Press up and then back into your downward facing dog. Just pedal out the feet here. And then we're going to come up onto the tiptoes. Look forward, either stepping or jumping through into a seated position. Soles of the feet on the mat, and then slowly roll all the way onto your spine. Setting up for <clears throat> a version of pigeons, figure four, on your back. So we're gonna bring this ankle, on, the right ankle onto the left knee, and press that right knee away from you, so it's towards the front of your mat. This might be enough already on your right hip. If you want a little bit more, then draw your left knee towards you and squeeze your knee in by bringing your hands across your shin or behind your thigh. But keep pressing that right knee away from you. Flex the foot on the right side to protect the knee. So we should be feeling this in our outer hip, the glute on the right side. If your shoulders are creeping up and away from the mat, just see if you can flatten them down, keep a nice long spine. And we'll take another inhale. As you exhale, lower that left foot to the mat, and then option to stay here with figure four or come into eagle leg. So keep taking that right knee over the left. But then you can always hook that Shin, uh, foot behind your shin again if you want to. We're going to open the arms out into a cactus and drop the knees over towards the left side. So you'll figure out what suits you, either figure four in the legs or eagle legs. Or maybe you just stack your right knee on top of the left. Gaze is over towards your right shoulder. Shoulders are flat on the mat. Hips are internally rotating here, just countering all of those warrior twos, dandasanas. And then come back to center as you inhale. Just unravel the legs and place the soles of the feet to the mat. Take the left foot over the right knee. Foot is flexed, knee pressing away from you. And again, stay here if that's enough on your hip and glute on the left side. If you want more, then draw that knee up towards your chest and interlace your hands behind your thigh or your shin. As you gently squeeze that knee in, keep pressing your left knee away from you. Shoulders stay flat on the mat, lengthen through the neck, take an inhale. As you exhale, drop that right foot down and again, stay here with figure four or take your eagle legs on the other side. So hook the right left foot around the right shin. 
knees up over your hips, arms out into a cactus shape as we drop the knees over towards the right side. Gaze goes over towards the left. And just checking again that your shoulders stay flat on the mat. Your left shoulder isn't trying to lift up. If so, you can just unravel the legs a bit, maybe stack the knees instead. And try to glue that left shoulder into the mat. Take one more breath. As you exhale, come back to centre and then just release the bind, release your figure four and draw the feet down onto the mat. So you can stay with your feet now, mat width distance if you want to bring them, mat width distance and knees not into the centre. Or you can come back to that Supta Vajrakonasana as we started practice. So reclined bound angle, soles of the feet together, knees out wide. And then an option here for your arms is either hand to your chest and belly, or maybe you reach your hands above you and grab opposite elbow for just that final opening through the armpits, the shoulders, the chest. Whatever feels comfortable for you, you can always have your legs long in traditional Shavasana. Just going to stay here for a couple of minutes, tune into your breath, your body, your practice. How do you feel now at the end of your practice? It's about how you feel, not what poses you manage to complete or achieve. Every day is different on our mats. So hold no judgment or assumptions about your practice. Let those thoughts float away with your exhale. So just focus on that sensation of the air coming in and out through your nose. Body is heavy on the mat, releasing any last bits of worry, anxiety, tension, just for these last few moments of class. Take a big breath in and fill up your belly. Sigh out, exhale. And then slowly start to bring some movement back. Release the shoulders, release the arms if they're up above your head and draw your knees to the center. So moving whatever, however feels natural to you. We're going to make our way up to a seat at the top of your mat. So when you're ready, making your way there, keeping your eyes closed or your gaze soft. And then bringing your hands to heart centre. Connect again to that intention you set. How did you want to feel at the end of your practice? All that dedication. Who did you dedicate your practice to or what? 
Repeat that to yourself one last time as we take a final breath in. And exhale. Have a wonderful Easter weekend, everyone. Namaste.